And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy folks, I'm Tom Vassell and today we're taking a look at an expansion for Whistle Stop. So Whistle Stop, a train game which I liked, and now we're taking a look at Whistle Stop, the Rocky Mountains expansion. I'm showing you the rule book because the expansion actually comes in a, basically a discardable, you know, shrink wrapped, and you just stick it all in the base game, which I like because you don't need to keep that extra box or get rid of the extra box. What does this expansion add besides the Rocky Mountains? Well, that is what it adds. Here's how it plays. So this game adds a whole middle section. You'll see that there are two pieces that snap here in the middle of the board, uh, which adds this whole mountain range. There's actually raised pieces. And so there's going to be these raised pieces. When you put them on top of there, that's raised up one level. Then there's a second level on top of that that you'll go up even farther, which simulates a mountain to some degree. So this is going to make the board bigger, but it does come with more tiles that start out there to keep things going. This does not add any new rules to the game other than the mountains themselves. When you build on these mountains, they're going to cost an extra coal and or whistle. So you can see here, for example, these cost an extra coal, this costs a coal or a whistle to go onto these spots. And then when you do go on them, you're gonna get the reward, a rare resource, a rare resource and a gold. And if you go on top of these, you get the actual upgrade tile. So they'll give you the upgrade tile, but you'll notice this costs two coal or a whistle. So two coal or a whistle for these spots or one coal. And then you'll get that, and then you can put whatever tile you wanna put there in its place. Notice that all the tiles that come with this game show the little mountain here in the corner. The game also comes with new gold nuggets, which are a six value, making gold nuggets much more worth it, and a whole new stock, the Rocky Top stock, which has a few new places in the deck for it. There's a couple other special buildings. The switch yard, when you go there, you can go to any spot that's in the same column. There's a black market, which lets you trade stock for gold or vice versa. A scrap yard, discard a tile from your hand, get the resources on it or two coal. I really like that. Supply Depot gives you a common resource and a coal. And there's a few other places here. Also, the new techs. So there's some on the board here. We also have the whistle assembly. Change one whistle to two. Skip over empty mountain spaces. Gain a coal when you move a train in the mountains. Uh, extend the gondola here. The, you have the gain of uh, uh, gold whenever you put a tile in the mountains. And so there's all kinds of really neat techs. And these are just mixed with the regular techs. That's pretty much it. There's also some ordinary tiles. I put them all here in the first row so you can see them. When you go through these, you get whistles, gold, resources, and there's a few new endgame tiles, like the last stop. This has to be your final train that lands there to get 25 points, and a few other tiles that you can land on. So it just adds to the tiles to the point where someone who's never played the game before wouldn't even notice most of the different tiles and how they're different than the ones already in the game. Now sometimes you play expansions which add to the game, sometimes you can take or leave them. This is the instance where the expansion actually makes me like the game better. Now, Whistle Stop is definitely a game that as time has gone by, I've enjoyed more than when I started. It just plays so smoothly. I like how it looks, the spaghettiness of the railroad tracks all over the place. I like the simplicity of getting resources, turning them in, stock market stuff. It just all comes together in a really good way. The Rocky Mountains is what I would consider almost essential. I would rather play with this than not for a couple reasons. One, it makes gold nuggets much more useful and in the game because there's a lot of places to get them in the mountains. And you, yes, you can skip the mountains and well, you have to go over them to some degree, but you don't have to go over the highest parts of the mountain or you can let other people connect the mountains and then you connect on the other side. You can skip them, but if you go for gold nuggets, that could be some considerable amount of points. So that's one reason. I like having the gold nuggets. They're really involved in the game. I like the cost reward of the mountains themselves. 
I also like the new technologies. I like the fact that there's a lot more technologies in the game, and I really like the new buildings. I like the new stuff that it adds. And thirdly, I like how simple it is to put in a base game. The rules recommend you play a base game of Whistle Stop first before playing with the expansion. I can't really argue with that, but I have played this game with people who've never played Whistle Stop before, and it's really easy. They don't even need to know the difference. The only thing I would have liked is a single reference sheet that came with this expansion that showed every building, so I don't have to figure out if it's in the base game or in the expansion. And I, I'm sure there's something like that online that you can download that shows you the differences, but that's the only minor thing. That makes the game the slightest bit longer maybe, but not enough that I notice, and adds a lot of cool stuff, making the game more robust and interesting. This is the kind of expansion that I really like. Uh, Whistle Stop was already a fine game. I don't know that I felt like it needed an expansion, but now that I played the Rocky Mountains expansion, it's hard to imagine playing without it. In fact, I don't think I would. I like, again, I like the emphasis on gold nuggets. I like the extra stock. I like the new buildings. It's going to be different and diverse every time you play it. Fantastic. And it all fits in the base game box. Dice Tire Judgment approved.